Was ist da los? Was ist da los? Hi, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Narciss and I'm making every week videos about the makeup and fashion and the trends. And this week we are going to talk as we are closing to first of the spring. I wanted to talk about the new spring and summer trends of 2018. I'm going to makeup and uh, creating a look that is also uh, close to this makeup and uh, makeup trends for 2018 so this is gonna be like makeup chatty video and i hope that you like it if you like this video give me please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe me so i would love your support and if you're curious about the trends of 2018 then keep watching i started to make the video and i thought it's working because it was shining red but um for some reason it was not working i am so sorry i start again to explain you but um the makeup is now somehow done so i'm not going back to all the steps i did i think all of you know how to put the foundation but what i'm gonna explain you is the is again the, the steps i'm going to explain you so we are talking now about uh, makeup trends of uh, spring summer 2018. The first trend was weightless foundation. We are going away from the baking skin and to putting layers over layers and we are going to breathing and natural skin which I love this trend. This trend is trying to make the skin more uh, looking natural and flawless of course you have to take more about your skin and you are uh, making your skin looking nicer and then putting a little bit of the foundation to put that in a shine makeup i use it is was from the mac i bought it in madrid when we were in the madrid uh, tra um, weekend travel and i uh, bought some products which i'm also talking about it and why i bought it there so one of the products I bought was the, from the MAC, my old makeup. It is the Studio Fix um, Makeup Fluid. And um, this one is very soft. It's not so covering so much that your skin is not breathing, but it covers a little bit. Um, how do I say? It's, it's a medium of a coverage is a medium. It's not so coverage like the Vichy I'm using or the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's uh, somehow in the middle and it, I think for spring summer, which is the weather is getting hot, it's uh, better if you use some uh, makeup uh, that the skin is not closed all. And um, I bought, I think this time, a right color, which I always have the problem with the color of my skin. I'm so olive green tone on my skin. I, I cannot explain that one, but, but anyway. The color is NW15 this is what I put it. I put the makeup uh, with the brush first, um, always using this buffy brush, using the makeup and then blend it a little bit to put the rest, um, the rest of the makeup which is over my skin to work it better on my skin and to make it more looking natural. And um, yeah, and, and as the trend is to looking natural and for my concealer, I use the MAC Studio Water Weight Concealer. You have to shake it a little bit. It's looking, it's coming with this hmm, pipette or I don't know what it's called. Anyway, it's looking like this. It's a very nice product actually. It's very soft and um, don't put that much i put really two drops i'm so sorry that you cannot see it, but i really put two drops and uh, work it very soft on the skin first with this flat brush i had i uh, work a little bit and then put it and then work it with my blender on my skin after that i put the blender in a very um, colorless powder which is just to fixing it i'm not baking it i'm just fix a little bit of my concealer so this 
white powder which doesn't have any color help me that I don't use a new color on the face and a new layer which can be possible that the colors doesn't go together and you will have some problems so on this powder that's white I just put like this my blender I put shake it that the rest product coming out and I work on it I don't want to put maybe a little bit only I put now that you can see how is it but don't put that much otherwise you are baking it again and you will have like a cakey face so and that's it that's the trend of the 2018 make it as less but more natural as possible that the skin can breathe and it's a very good trend especially for summer because it's getting hot you don't want to have such a cakey face going around you want to look natural but your natural beauty coming out so the second trend is about the eyeshadow colors eyeshadow colors are going to be look uh, not so uh, dark colors that we are using on 2017 also you had you had seen these colors on the hair so purple blue green okay, and then layers over layers no spring summer is gonna be very soft color pastel color any color you are using use it as a pastel and don't use too much colors and don't make it a smoky eyes why because the next trend is the eyeliner. Eyeliners are the definition of the eyeliner for this season is to have a dramatic graphic eyeliner. It's going we are going back to 60 and like makeup of the Cleopatra makeup. So have the eyeliner from down here to up there and very defined and using it as um, a more liquid or you can have um, pen how to say they, there are some uh, black pomade eyeliner which you can use it with a pencil you have to be very professional I have this liquid one but also as a fixed pencil from L'Oreal and this makes really nice oh sorry oh sorry very nice defined lines and uh, still I can say because I'm not using it every day I have to be honest with you it's not like this that I'm every day using this eyeliner this kind of eyeliner as you can see so I was not that professional that as I wish it and, and it's very difficult to get it symmetric together I tried it but I have a feeling that this one anyway it's not looking same and uh, but this is the trend, this is the trend to make it uh, the eyeliner more in focus than the eyeshadow. Eyeshadow should be pastel, very light colors as I saw it in, in a lot of catwalks. So eyeshadows are very soft and the eyeliner is more in focus. Eyeshadows I used from Naked Palette. A naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. I love somehow my relationship with this palette is um, hate and love relationship I don't know how to explain it but this palette has a good points and bad points the good point on this palette and this palette is had so much nice pinky colors and um, I don't know somehow it suits to my skin color uh, the best the bad point on this palette is that some of the colors pigmentations are not that good so it means that if I put the cup with a brush it all come down and like Zoeva palette it doesn't cost as much as Urban Decay and this one has a so good um, pigmentation um, I, I can say that it's nothing come down the eyes and I didn't have till now problem with it but with this palette I'm like mm. and to get it very defined and nice and nothing come down and nothing happen so I put a first uh, the skin tone color it's called limit I put first limit and then I worked a little bit with uh, Nooner on the edges and then I put the factory but I'm talking about very less 
I'm talking about really very less uh, products on it. And then to make these defined colors, very light ones, I put a little bit of my concealer. I had a very light one from NYX. And I put a little bit really with my brush. Oh, where's my brush I use? I think this one, yes. I use a very small brush and I put a little bit concealer from the beginning till half like this concealer then let it dry and then use the light ones this two let me show you colored I mixed and put it in front of my eyes uh, for mascara I love this one this is I wanted to tell you finally I bought a mascara which I really love and I bought it in Madrid in NYX shop and um, yeah it calls worth the hype and I can say after long long searching this mascara makes the job really good I don't have any false lashes now because I'm talking about very natural look and very natural makeup I didn't want to use false lashes and this is the lashes I have with this mascara I think it did the job very good it makes my um, my lashes very defined but very long and I love it uh, to use that product the next trend is ultraviolet or purple purple ultraviolet is the color of the year so for spring is the f uh, it's a very light pastel purple very fashionable if it is on a dress on any clothes or on the eyes I unfortunately I don't have that color to show you but maybe I put some pictures in this video that you can see it this is the color of the year you can buy dresses in that color you can make the eyes a little bit of that color but don't use it that much it depends on your uh, skin tone and, and uh, the type of your, the personality I think we are coming to the next trend and this is a highlight this year is the highlight going away from the normal highlights that we use ah why i don't have it here to show you the normal highlights and i always used it was like a white like oh i have something like caviar cash of catrice i have here it has um was it somehow white highlights that we always had it and we are going away from this highlight to the next trend which is like a red or gold highlight this this uh, makeup trend is coming with a Fenty makeup by Rihanna and this gold uh, highlight. I have one gold highlight, maybe I can show you how does it look like. It's a very goldy highlight. I don't have from Fenty. Um, yes, this highlight tone, maybe I make an uh, example for you to see. So this highlight is not so good pigmented. A gold highlight and a red highlight. So a gold highlight, you have to be keep care which kind of skin tone you have. I, th I believe that a gold highlight is going with the darkest skin much better or the skins that has um, more, how do you say, uh, the, it depends on the pigmentation of your skin. So like if you are like um, a middle Asia person with an olive uh, skin, I would not recommend this kind of highlight for you because I tried it and it's looking more olive and yellow skin, yellowish skin. That is what I'm going away. Maybe some people like it, but I'm, I don't want to have yellow skin, uh, honestly. So this highlight will not work for me the next highlight i bought it from the NYX. i loved it and i haven't tried we will try it together now this is like also product testing i bought from the NYX illuminator wow this is called narcissistic narcissistic color wow ibb01 narcissistic <laughs> It's exactly the highlight I'm talking about. This is the fashion uh, red highlight. Red, it's blushy highlights. So we are going away 
from also contouring the face and you're making it natural and this highlight I'm going to use like somehow highlight and brush and this is gonna you you're gonna use it like Believe me, I bought it, I haven't used it yet. Don't pay attention to my skin and the problems I have. I had last week bad accident. I, as you can see a little bit on my nose, but the, those of you who follow me on Instagram knows already that I had really dummy accident. And I was in a hospital, so there was no video on that week. It has some gold shiny stuff in it, so this is very trendy. And to combine it and make it nicer, I believe that I have to put some peachy blush. This is the also trend of 2018 to use the blush instead of contouring. So we are blushing and the blush is using it um, this year very uh, like almost all this part of the face. It's a blushing up. I don't know how it look like. I haven't used it now. I will do it now for you to see how it look. But maybe that was a mistake. I had to first put the blush and then the contouring. Oh, I said contouring. The shiny highlight. But finally there is no rule. On the makeup and the makeup should be something that makes fun and you love it to making my eyebrows I don't want to paint it again I just blush brush it that the products are inside goes away and I make it in a form um, today not gonna use any um, colors or something in it this is my eyebrows they are not symmetric but you know what I love it as it is I will use only lash broad designer like a gel for lashes um, bras. We are coming to the last trend of spring summer and that is lipstick everywhere. We are going away from the shiny lip gloss everything and we are uh, going more to lipstick the old version and um, we are also the next trend is lipstick everywhere the good point on a lipstick everywhere is that you have always uh, your lipstick with yourself and uh, you don't need any other products with yourself you can put you can have a very nice soft I don't have unfortunately a very nice soft uh, red lipstick or pink lipstick so you put it on your lips then a little bit for blushing it a little bit over the eyes and then for spring it's perfect it's a fashion you don't need so much products and oh, sorry, I'm talking to the other side oh my god so next trend for 2018 spring summer is lipstick everywhere the good point on lipstick everywhere is that you have only one product with yourself you're saving money you're saving time and you are saving uh, that to put uh, a space because you don't need in your bag a lot of products with yourself you only have your lipstick you put your lipstick on over your lips then make it a little bit of brush uh, blush uh, with that lipstick and uh, over your eyes it depends on the color if you're having a nice soft pink color it's working perfect or uh, like a light red one uh, you can make it a blush yeah the good point on a lipstick is you have it always with yourself and you just need it over the lips and a little bit of blush make it over the eyes so you're using one product for different uh, different uh, things and it's saving money saving time and you don't need a new product it was a matte edition of Maybelline and the color is 932 it's looking nude color a little bit of Catrice shine gloss over it it's not so
that's it that's a finished look so 